Hello, you are welcome to solve this math problem, which is x plus 1 bracket power of 2 plus x plus 2 bracket power of 3 plus x plus 3 bracket power of 4 is equal to 2. To find the values of x from this equation. Now, in the first step, we start by making x plus 2 in common. So, in here, x plus 1 is same as x plus 2 then minus 1 bracket power of 2 because 2 minus 1 it is 1 then plus this x plus 2 bracket power of 3 then plus x plus 3 to make x plus 2 in common this is same as x plus 2 then plus 1 then bracket this power of 4 is equal to 2 then from here x plus 2 x plus 2 x plus 2 is common so now we we'll let let's say y is equal to x plus 2 then in here it will be y minus 1 so y minus 1 bracket power of 2 plus y power of 3 then plus y plus 1 y plus 1 bracket power of 4 is equal to 2 then we'll expand the square of y minus 1 it is y square minus 2y plus 1 then plus this y power of 3 then plus power of 4 of this y plus 1 in here we'll apply Pascal triangle formula now from Pascal triangle it is the Pascal triangle it is 1 then 1 2 1 then 1 3 3 1 then 1 4 6 4 1 as it is here 1 plus 2 is 3 2 plus 1 is 3 then 1 plus 3 is 4 3 plus 3 is 6 3 plus 1 is 4 so we can see from this the square in here the second level 1 to 1 from here the square of here we can see coefficient it is 1 to 1 here coefficient is 1 to 1 here we have negative because here we have negative then for here fourth power it is this here in the fourth level so in here y plus 1 fourth power of y plus 1 it will be coefficient first first here it is 1 so here it will be y power of 4 coefficient it is 1 then plus this 4 then to reduce in power in power so it will be y power of 3 then plus coefficient it is 6 reduce in power it will be y power of 2 then plus coefficient it is 4 then reduce in power y power of 2 it will be y then plus this one which is constant so the the expansion of this it is this so this one times y power of 4 it is y power of 4 so here it is y power of 4 then plus this 4 y power of 3 plus this 6 y square plus this 4y then plus this 1 is equal to this 2 then in the next step it will be we we'll start by this with power of 4 so it will be y y power of 4 then plus with power of 3 we have this y power of 3 plus this 4 y power of 3 it will be plus 5 y power of 3 then we have with power of 2 we have this y power of 2 plus 6 y power of 2 it will be plus 7 y power of 2 then with the y we have this negative 2y then this positive 4y it will be 2y so it will be plus 2y 
then with constant we have this one plus this one it will be plus 2 is equal to this 2 then we'll take 2 into this side so it will be 2 minus 2 is 0 so it will be this y power of 4 plus 5y power of 3 plus 7y square plus 2y 2 minus 2 is 0 so it will be equal to I mean we take 2 into this side so it will be 2 minus 2 is 0 then in the next step in here into this equation y is common so we'll take y out of bracket so y power 4 divided by y is y power 3 then plus 5y power 3 divided by y is 5y square then plus 7y square divided by y is 7y then plus 2y divided by y is 2 bracket is equal to this 0 then from here we have two solutions whereas this is the first solution which is y is equal to this 0 and this is the second solution y power 3 plus 5y square plus 7y plus 2 is equal to 0 then from here into this first solution get y is equal to 0 then we recall before we let y is equal to x plus 2 so from this y is x plus 2 then it will be equal to this 0 then it will be x is equal to we take 2 into this side to be x is equal to negative 2 so this is the one of the value of x then to solve from this cubic equation we can see here we have constant which is 2 so and here we have plus 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 so because we have constant which is 2 the one of the root the root factors of 2 is 1 2 negative 1 and negative 2 now for this one it is not possible it is it, it won't give it won't be equal to 0 because when we substitute here 1 it won't be equal to 0 because we have positive plus plus the sum and also 2 is it won't possible it won't be equal to 0 because here we have plus 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 so this is not possible then for this Ne also negative 1 is not possible it won't give 0 but negative 2 let's try for this negative 2 so if y is equal to negative 2 we substitute here negative 2 into this equation if it will give 0 so it will be negative 2 bracket power of 3 then plus 5 times y is negative 2 bracket power of 2 then plus 7 times y which is negative 2 bracket then plus this 2 will it be equal to 0 then negative 2 power of 3 it is negative 8 then neg negative 2 square it is 4 so 4 times 5 it will be plus 20 7 times negative 2 is negative 14 then plus 2 now for positive 20 plus 2 is 22 and for negative negative 8 negative 14 is negative 22 so 22 minus 22 is equal to 0 then it is true that y is equal to 2 is one of the root of this cubic equation then we recall y is x plus so in here it will be x plus 2 is equal to this negative 2 then it will be x is equal to 2 we take to this side it will be negative 2 with negative 2 it will be negative 4 so this is the other value of x now because you have one of the root is this negative 2 we will solve by synth synthetic division so as to to get the other quadratic form in here negative 2 this is the linear times quadratic equation will get this cubic equation now to get the cubic equation we'll solve by synthetic division 
then the coefficient of this cubic equation y power of 3 here it is 1 so it will be 1 coefficient of y square it is 5 then coefficient of y is 7 constant is 2 then in here we'll draw a line here then we drop 1 into here by synthetic division then negative 2 times 1 it is negative 2 5 plus negative 2 is 3 of 5 minus 2 is 3 negative 2 times 3 is negative 6 7 minus 6 is 1 then negative 2 times 1 it is negative 2 2 minus 2 is 0 so this is the remainder so if the remainder is 0 then it is true that one of the root is negative 2 then these are the coefficient of quadratic equation so in here it will be y square coefficient of y square is 1 is 1 so it will be y square then plus coefficient of y is 3 y plus constant which is 1 then is equal to 0 then to find the value of y from this quadratic equation we'll use quadratic formula from quadratic formula to find the value of y is equal to negative b plus or minus square root of b square minus 4ac over 2a then it will be y is equal to negative b here it is 3 then plus or minus square root of b square it will be 3 square minus 4 times a is 1 times c is 1 so 1 times 1 then over 2 times a a is 1 then it will be y is equal to negative 3 plus or minus square root of 3 square is 9 negative 4 times 1 times 1 is negative 4 then over this and this is 2 then it will be y is equal to negative 3 plus or minus square root of 9 minus 4 is square root of 5 then we divide by 2 in this part and in this part now in here we get the value of y whereas we have two solutions because of plus or minus now we recall from the first value of y first we write the first value of y y is equal to negative 3 over 2 then plus square root of 5 over 2 so from y is equal to negative 3 over 2 plus square root of 5 over 2 then y we recall before we let y is x plus 2 so in here y is x plus 2 is equal to this negative 3 over 2 then plus square root of 5 over 2 then in here we take 2 into this side so it will be x is equal to negative 2 minus this negative um, negative 2 this negative 2 take this side to be negative 2 then this which is minus 3 over 2 plus square root of 5 over 2 then it will be x is equal to this 2 is negative 2 is same as over 1 so the denominator here it is 2 2 divided by 1 is 2 2 times negative 2 is negative 4 then 2 divided by 2 is 1 1 times negative 3 is negative 3 plus square root of 5 over 2 then it will be x is equal to negative 3 negative negative 4 negative 3 is negative 7 over 2 then plus square root of 5 over 2 so this is the other value of x whereas this is the set value of x then in the next step we take we, we take this other value of x y whereas before we, we use this positive now we, we are going to use this negative so it will be neg y is equal to negative 3 over 2 minus square root of 5 over 2 so from y is equal to negative 3 over 2 minus square root of 5 over 2 but y is x plus 2 then is equal to this negative 3 over 2 
minus square root of 5 over 2 then it will be x is equal to when we take 2 into this side it will be negative 2 minus 3 over 2 minus square root of 5 over 2 then from here negative 2 minus 3 over 2 is same as this one which is negative 7 over 2 so here it will be x is equal to negative 7 over 2 then minus square root of 5 over 2 so this is the other value of x therefore the conclusion the first value of x is equal to this negative 2 negative 2 the second value of x is equal to this negative 4 the third value of x is equal to this which is negative 7 over 2 plus square root of 5 over 2 and the fourth value of x is equal to this which is negative 7 over 2 minus square root of 5 over 2 so these are all the values of x in this our problem thank you for watching don't forget these steps to miss out subscribe to my channel and see you in the next video bye bye